welcome again to my channel so it's your favorite abuja mommy vlogger deca diary of an abuja mom so if you're new to my channel i'm super excited that you're here today watching this video so today guys i'm going to be doing my makeup and updating you guys on what's been going on since the last time we sat down and spoke and guys i've not done my makeup in a very very long time today i was like no let me do makeup on my face if you tell me in this life deca the time in your life you won't be wearing makeup up, I will say hmm it's not possible it's not but here we are who has been watching Bridget like who I'm thinking of doing something orangey because of my you know my dress and then again I feel like I don't I've never really used black on my face guys what do you guys think of me using black I want to use my hand. Hey, go. <clears throat> Should we try black? I've never used black before. Let me see how pigmented this black is. Okay, it looks pretty pigmented. So what's been happening with you guys um, since we last sat down to do like a life update? I'm not talking about like me just doing random videos, talking to you guys about stuff. I'm talking about like, you know, updating you guys on what's been going on. We got a new baby. A new baby in the family we have a new baby guys I'm kind of I'm feeling two ways about it I won't even lie guys all my life have always been scared of dogs and one of the reasons why I've been scared of dogs is just my mom especially my mom has always been so she tells us these scary dog tales like as kids and somehow we've always just not liked animals <sighs> like ha jesus jesus <laughs> jesus <laughs> deca baby <laughs> you will look like a ghost <laughs> i'm not really scared of what's going to be the outcome how is it going clean and nothing will happen like in my mind but i just want it to be really really pigmented i don't want any let me let me take a closer look you know I don't want any patch because that's where I hate when I see patches in my black in people's blacks it just looks ugly to me like I said we got a dog guys and fam I come near the dog but I don't come near the dog let me explain so I come near the dog enough for the dog not to look at me when the dog faces me I'm scared so far it's backing me I can come here I can touch it but as the dog is getting older it's becoming more playful it wants to jump on you so I try to avoid him now so the dog's name is Ricky right Vicky Vicks he's blending eh? <laughs> Jesus I look so different <laughs> I can't believe this is my face I look so different I look so different. I'm trying to blend it because guys like with black. I feel like black is so scary to me. Uh, I don't want any, you know. So back to Ricky Rakes, the Ricky. So guys, I personally feel like Ricky loves me because in as much as I run away from him, anytime he anytime I come out of my because he stays at this backyard place. But I realize that every anytime he he sees me, like I open the door or I'm just around he wants to come around me he wants to touch me he wants me to play with him even though i cannot he's still a puppy and i'm always wondering like um since he's still a puppy and i'm i'm scared of him when he now gets bigger because the way he's going he's going to be really really big when he now gets bigger what will i do then i ask myself that question I'm so scared of dogs, guys. I'm even trying. Hobby was telling me that I'm trying. I remember when I was pregnant for one of my kids, either between Gina or if I'm thinking Gina and Mosha. As usual, people will tell you, ah, you know, they buy. The dog doesn't buy. Don't worry. Just be free. And I can imagine sitting down in the place, something like this, and I just mistakenly turned and I saw the dog coming. You see where I ran? The dog was chasing me. Guys, I was six months pregnant and I jumped over their chair. I was super scared. You know, he's been talking about getting a dog and I've been saying no, 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 no. You know, we've just been having this conversation. Sometimes I'll be like, okay, I'm okay with it. You know, sometimes I'll be like, nope, I'm not okay with it. I can remember him just sending me a message that one of his friends wants to sell his dog, blah, 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 blah. One of his dogs, one of his puppies. And I was like, okay, I just said it, you know, this kind of like, I just said it carelessly. 
Next thing, hubby came home with a dog and it dawned on me that um, I just agreed to having a dog in my house. And guys, for like the next few days, I was always telling him, baby, I sure will not take you back. I sure will not, you know, because I was saying to myself, I don't think I can deal with it. Till today, I don't feel I can still deal with it, but at least it's better than before. I feel like it's helping me. Having this dog is helping me with a lot of things, fears that I have in life because I think dog is one of the biggest one of the biggest fears I had in life to the extent that I used to dream about dogs chasing me. This dog coming to my house to me is like helping me to get over that. Then secondly, I got a new lens which you guys have noticed. I talked to you guys, I told you guys about it. You know, I got a new lens because guys I've been using my lens for the past three years two years two plus years and it was time to do something else to get something better and all that then i got lighting i got lighting for days that maybe i want to film at night and there is no like daylight lighting right now i'm using the normal daylight um and just my lighting in my living room but I bought it because for future purposes because guys rain will still start falling and for those days i want to have light so i'm done with blending i'm going to be highlighting and most of the product i'm using today is just between zikel and isa and those and zaron and you know this is and those then guys okay so i know all of us have watched the and the bears show the young famous and africa show um i watched it because of the hype a lot of people were talking about it they were criticizing and i saw a lot of criti criticism for annie right and i was like let me even go and watch it let me even see what people are saying if it's like i don't want to depend on people's opinion on things these days oh guys i didn't like let me be truthful to you guys i didn't like how they portrayed annie if it's by what i watched i cannot say truthfully that Annie loves to face for me what i saw is insecurity it was more about her if i lose him oh, i will not lose everything after all the time i've spent with this guy that was what i saw she can do anything for him and he knows she can do anything for him and then the part where she was talking to um what's her name zari she was telling zari that that's why she cannot keep a man i was so ashamed for Annie i was i said jesus how is she keeping two face how like please can somebody explain to me because the dj naked and his girlfriend i don't know what they're doing there they're not supposed to be on that show because their own storyline said get k leg then guys the will smith thingy oh my god guys i'm of the opinion eh? what will did was wrong but the idea of what he did was right like i feel like you should defend people that you love it may not be like fighting i don't i don't i won't say go and fight or go and buck you know but i don't believe in like some people were saying you just left it you just let it slide in a very big stage like the oscars and i'm like sometimes you need to set people straight i don't think you should have gone to go and do that i don't think you should because morally is wrong right but I, but I liked the idea behind what he did, like the protecting thing, like stop talking about my wife. What did she even do? Like people keep blaming her. People keep making it look like she has, she has something she has on Will Smith. She's making him not to be man enough because Will Smith is crying on TV. Like, I hate the idea that men cannot cry in public. I hate that idea because I know there are so many men that just want to... I'm not saying men should go around crying. Ah, no. I don't think anybody should go around crying either. Even me as a woman, I don't think I should go around crying. I hate the fact that I cry. For, like, I react with crying. If I'm happy, I cry. If I'm sad, I cry. If I'm joyous, I cry and all that. But the, for me, the fact that because this man comes on TV and he cries and he's, he's talking about his marriage, his life, people just somehow feel like that woman is such a beast that woman is such a bad woman she's making him do things he's not supposed you know that, that kind of mentality and it's very very disheartening it's not i feel like with this will smith and jada's thing especially with nigerian men it's almost like it's just that that august thing is pinning them so much the fact that a woman can come out and this kind of thing can happen and is the, the man that is feeling you i personally feel like there's a limit to what people should say i don't think that people should 
just take everything as a joke people should learn a lesson that it's not everything that is a joke like not something as serious as a sickness or an ailment or a life-threatening disease or something except you ask the person beforehand okay oh see what i'm going to be talking about too oh, are you okay with it and the person says ah go ahead though it's fine Deca, it's fine talk, you can talk about it no one uh, no so guys i didn't even know i don't know if i told you guys in one of my vlogs but ola has actually started school ola has their crutch so far she's been loving it i'm shocked because none of my kids actually loved going to school and they all went when they were two they said when they were two ola is ola turned one year four months yesterday so i expected to hear things like oh she was crying you know that kind of thing i started to hear it but ola was really really brave really strong from what i hear she comes home normal she doesn't feel anyhow and luckily for me the kids class are close to her class so they always see her even the the teacher the crutch lady tells me yeah she's fine she doesn't have any issue she doesn't have any problem and then i'm like is it because is it because she's seeing me like sometimes these kids say they can just be funny I feel so cute so guys i relaxed my hair in the cheapest salon in my area i'm going to be leaving the video somewhere here i think here yeah? so you guys can go watch um so yeah um it was pretty cheap and they did a very good job but i'm going to be you know packing my hair putting this thing that i made so i'm going in with my deca daily hydrating mist i'm just going to spray this on my hair you know i've already applied this like yesterday or two two days ago not really sure anymore um i'm just applying the hair mist which is a daily thing you use it daily and then i'm going to be going in with this tray semi is it tray sem or tray semi um mousse guys it's no more mousse it's not coming out like water i don't know why <laughs> why i like hair mousse farm is just because it smells really really nice like my products are natural products so they smell etty like normal like etty products but with mousse they smell really really nice and i love my hair to smell nice guys you don't even know i like when you know my hair smells nice I, I, like i just feel very feminine when my hair smells i'm so feminine i'm very feminine if you know me personally <laughs> then you know i'm yeah i'm feminine I love how this brush can actually even come through my hair. Can you see how long my hair is? My anniversary, my traditional marriage anniversary is coming up on the 8th of April. Um, let me take this one. Let me take my hair a bit off because of what I want to use. Guys, do you celebrate your traditional marriage anniversary or your church wedding anniversary or your do you know i don't even know my court wedding anniversary i don't know the date so i'm just going in with this toothbrush this is actually a new toothbrush i brought it up because of you guys for this video and i'm going in with this olive ha ah, why do we always call it that name this echo style olive oil gel if your hair is natural please don't buy this it's not going to hold anything if your hair is even semi-natural it's not going to hold this works for people that their hair is relaxed in my opinion but i don't know i'm getting emotional by my look like i'm looking so beautiful so good i can't believe black fits me like this i can't believe I've been scared of using black so I'm going in with the kiss beauty makeup fix spray and with this I'm going to spray my face this thing it doesn't ever spray well see see it sprays I think it's tired me I don't know why I think it's going to spray well let me just wet my sponge with this and use it on my face oh, I'm not removing my makeup hey I'm just using my foundation brush to go around i feel like this blends everything in like so that there is no harsh line you know it's 
so i'm done with my look i'm done guys i'm done with my look what do you guys think what do you guys think what do you guys think hair makeup guys like i feel so pretty i enjoyed filming it it wasn't as difficult as i thought it would be and i feel really pretty what are your thoughts on the topics i touched and what do you think about my look so i hope you guys actually enjoyed this video if you did give me a big thumbs up don't forget to share don't forget to leave your comment don't forget to show me love i love you guys so much for watching until my next video bye